Okay. And I think we're live. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and today I'm just going to be taking a look at the... What is it called? The A4EC Community A4EC. Apparently the C is what stands for community. Uh, I didn't know that. But yeah, we'll be taking a look at it today and setting up our binds for the first time. Which I have already done, but just to have a fresh take on it, I'm going to go ahead and clear all those settings. And we'll take this from the ground up. Because I want to make sure what I've set really makes sense. Let's go ahead and clear this and hit OK. All right, cool. Let's do it. Also, I am testing out a new setup which allows me to enjoy watching YouTube videos or anime on the side without having that audio play during the stream or the recording. Hopefully it turns out that way. We'll, we'll actually see how well that plays out. So let me first go to instant action, hold start, probably. And in the meantime, I'm going to play some anime in the background. I will say, though, the A4 looks great. For being completely free. I mean, even if we're paid, it looks great. P-51 Mustang taken off. F-15. Three more A-4s up uh, on the sides of us. I hear heli- oh, yep, there they are. Helicopters over there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Aren't those the OH-58s? Is that what they're called? From right now. OH-58s. I didn't realize we had a 3D model for that already. Alrighty, so first things first. We need to set up our basic bindings, so let's go ahead and go to Adjust Controls and set up modifiers. These are going to be the standard LB, RB, and since I have a Xbox Series X controller, I have a third uh, I forget what this button is called, but it's next to the options and the share button. And to be honest, it looks like a share button. <laughs> it's the center one. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to bind that as well. All right. And first things, uh, second thing is going to be setting up cockpit control for that additional modifier I happen to have. Set it for cockpit view, aircraft view. Uh, F10 view and F6 weapon to target view because that's always fun. All right, let's go to access commands. We'll bind pitch, roll, rudder. You can see I need a dead zone. We'll set this to five. Tune. That's five. That's about right. Yep, looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if we need to invert rudder. Looks like we do. Access commands, access tune, invert. There we go. Then zoom view. That shouldn't need to be inverted. And now let's go ahead and start binding some regular buttons. Start off with a stick. No, actually, we'll start off with landing gear up and down. Then canopy. Then clickable mouse cockpit. 
I'm surprised it's that name. I think they moved on to saying uh, mouse cursor on and off. I wonder if this is an old label. Then, let's see, chaff, not quite, what the heck is the button, dispense, no, counter, uh, no, I think it's Q by default, what is Q, Q, no, not Q, oh, right, uh, this one, Q, Jado firing button which is the ALE-29A burst, or in other words, countermeasures, I believe. Okay. Now, let's go to Chaff Dispensing System, and we'll set the cycle. There we go. Chaff Auto Position. Nope, not that. One, two, three. Not release quantity. Where is the select? Ah, here it is, cycle. That's a Y. And of course, throttle up. Throttle down. Then, gun rocket trigger. What is this? There we go, left all in space is bomb release. Catapult hookup. This one I decided to put to match the Tomcat layout, which is going to be the select button behind both modifiers. And I think Pilot Salute was the other one. Pilot, yep, there it is. Both modifiers and the start button. There we go. Oh, and that makes sense. Let's go to AFCS and bind autopilot, which should be this guy. Right modifier and start, then altitude hold. Right modifier and select. And I'm debating on also binding this heading select off, on and off, but I haven't quite figured out how to use that. And also I don't know if I have a spot for it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to flaps. And we'll set this. Do flap handle up to right modifier and Y, and flap handle down to right modifier and X, and speed brake is going to be right modifier. Oh man, this is what is this? This is closed, so that means retracted. So right modifier and B, then open. I'm pretty sure is extended, so right modifier and A. Right, have those bound. What else is there? Oh, right, wheel brake. This is the the difficult one because there's no nose wheel steering. I have to bind these to buttons uh, because there is kind of a challenge with setting up a axis for wheel brakes. So if we this would work with a PS4 controller, but this won't work with an Xbox controller. Go figure. It's the opposite issue. It would actually be beneficial to have a PlayStation controller instead. Uh, but basically, wheel brake is one axis, wheel brake left is another axis, and wheel brake right is another axis. Because the triggers on the Xbox controller are technically one axis, if I were to try to bind this to wheel brake, this would work. However, uh, moving these axes would apply brake pressure to both brakes at the same time. It's not like, you know, left trigger is left brake, right trigger is right brake. It's not centered. It's actually just saying full left is zero brakes, middle is 50% brake, and then full right is 100% brake, but on both brakes. So that's not ideal. Uh, also, I can't just bind left trigger to wheel brake left because if I were to do that, let's say I put that behind both modifiers, then attempt to do the same for the right wheel brake right, except it'll be right trigger, both modifiers, this is already bound to the left because, again, this is both one axis. So I can't do that either, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Hopefully we can get that figured out. Um, but for now, uh, that's how it's going to have to work with a Xbox controller. DualShocks, though, you won't have to worry about that. Just make sure that when you bind to that, you're going to be setting uh, the wireless controller category to wheel brake left and right instead of wheel brake. 
Let's see. Oh, so I already have wheel brake. Now I need W, which is wheel brake on. So both modifiers in A to match everything else I have. Oh, right, and of course NVGs. Because in the event that we play on a dark mission, we want to be able to toggle this on and off, just like in the Tomcat. Then decrease, then increase. There we go. So this is Y, this is X, this is B. Both modifiers. Ah, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I need to go to the throttle panel. And then, here we go. Microphone push to talk. This is going to be both modifiers and D-pad down. Sure, I'll set this to D-pad up. Why not? One day we'll, we might end up using that instead of SRS. Um, throttle position lock. So step down is going to be both modifiers. Oh, is wait. Step down is going off ignite. Sorry, down is off ignite idle. But why is it both listed this way? That might be a issue with the label. If this is step down, then this should say idle off ignite. Sorry, idle ignite off, and then step up should be what it is here, which is off ignite idle. So this this is actually an issue. I might have to report that if it hasn't been already. But anyways, uh, step down is D-pad left, and step up is D-pad right. Let's go to, let's double check all our buttons so, so far. So no modifiers, throttle up, throttle down. Cycle, uh, just ALE 29A burst, which is saying dispense countermeasures. Um, oh, trim. Trim is another one. Trim. Left wing down. Nose down. Nose up. Right wing down. Go. And now let's double check again. So up, down, left, right. Throttle up, throttle down. Cycle, countermeasures. Nothing there, nothing there. Gun rocket trigger, bomb release button. Okay, perfect. No modifiers are set. Now this is going to be flaps up, flaps down, speed brake in, speed brake out. Um, this is enable, disable cursor. This should be external lights. Oh man. Okay. Go to search external. like a master external light master yeah exterior is the word on and off so this is going to be right modifier and left stick click because that's what i have on literally everything else uh let's see so let's hit okay before we lose all those bindings and go back all right so let's double check and there 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 and there okay perfect now both modifiers up, down, left, right, night vision, wheel brake, canopy, and okay, those are set. The only thing to do now is the left modifier buttons. <laughs> hey, Nikita. Man, please do a video for setting Xbox controls for the F14 and the SU27. So, speaking of that, I'm planning on doing the F14 next, uh, but. The both the F14 and the both those flankers, I already have uh, layouts for. If you go to my album where I have all these layouts saved, um, in fact, let me get a link. That might that might hold you over for the time being if you want to use them. Do 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 do. Have this and how do I paste into chat? I can view chat here, but I can't interact with chat. Hmm. Might have to do it from here. Yeah, there. And paste. So check out that link. It's a link to an album. It contains all my layout uh, gamepad layouts so far, and among them is the SE27, the SE33, the J11A, a uh, bunch of other stuff, as well as the F14 Tomcat, specifically the Pilot. Uh, let's see. So, I remember right. The left modifier is going to be 
Oh man, what is the love modifier going to be? There isn't much complication. Quest of Knowledge. Love this plane so much. As per the 14, did you ever do the Rio controls? Unfortunately, no, I have not. Uh, the main reason is because I have no idea what I'm doing back there. <laughs> I, I don't like to put together layouts unless I've actually like given the that particular module or that seat you know, an honest shot at playing it. And the last time I ever touched that Rio seat was like when the Tomcat first came out. And that was about it. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, I can't in good conscience put together a layout for the backseat just yet. But I need to find someone who's willing to go through this whole process with me so I can bind it all at the same time. Uh, then maybe I'll be able to create one. Let's see, left modifier is going to be instrument panel. And the first up, it's going to be the radar elevation, radar antenna elevation. Something like that. Well, so it's going to be gun sight and radar elevation. So let's go ahead and do gun sight increment, which will be left modifier and B. Decrement, be left modifier and A. So that will be uh, lowering and raising the gun sight. Uh, understandable, I am a Rio by nature with, oh wow, nice. Damn, that's a lot of time as Rio. I'm glad you're able to have that much fun with it. There's a serious lack of people willing to learn how to fly Rio. Me being one of them. <laughs> I, I, I remember telling myself, oh man, the F-14 is going to be great. I don't have to fly. I could just focus on the radar. And I just could not get into it for some reason. Either I was too like worried I'd jump in a pilot in the Rio seat and then just totally screw someone over who can, you know, get a have a better time with Jester instead. But, I mean, how else am I gonna learn, right? The only way I can fly backseat is if I go on a multiplayer server. But anyways. Yada yada, that's the that's the journal story behind me not doing it. Uh weapon select weapon function select. So we'll do clockwise to left modifier and d-pad right. And then counterclockwise to left modifier and d-pad left. I think master arm. Wait, was it master arm here? I thought it was. Yeah, there we go. Master arm and switch on and off will be left modifier and select. And then gun ready and safe will be left modifier and start. Oh, what else? What else? What else? Um, I've got this, whoops, I've got this, oh, why is it not doing anything? Did I not bind those? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, um, let's see, radar. Rotary increment, it's probably more reliable, so, left modifier and, um, no, that's altitude warning, what is that? No, radar range? No, what the heck? Oh, because it's on the left side. Uh, antenna. There we go. That's the one I want. And if I remember right, it's the opposite of what I normally do. So counterclockwise is instead going to be Y as opposed to X. And it'll be left modifier. And left modifier and X will be uh, clockwise. So this is Y. This is X. Okay, cool. Let's hit OK and save those changes. Just controls. So this, counterclockwise, clockwise, this is rotary increments, rotary decre uh, decrement, this is ready save, this is on off, this is nothing. Should that be some- oh, that should be something. Um, that should be, uh, what is it called? Um, I think it's still instrument. Instrument panel. It is rough, the first time I flew back seat. No one told me how to do anything, and the pilot just said, hey, do X, and I had to <laughs> figure it out on the fly. See, that honestly would be like the best way to go about it, because if you've got a pilot who knows what he's doing, and he can walk you through it, that's like the best way to learn from someone. It's like, I mean, it's like being in a training aircraft. Go figure, that's a two-seater, except the <laughs> the trainer's in the front seat, not the back seat. So that's, that's pretty cool, man. That's like the best way to learn it. I just need to get my hands on someone who's able to do that. 
Um, 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 where is it? It is like emergency. Yeah, here we go. This is it. So let's go clockwise. We'll be forward. So left modifier and D-pad up. And then counterclockwise is left modifier and D-pad down for the emergency release selector switch. And the actual jettison of our stores, which will be this guy. And this will be left modifier and right stick click. And that should do it, I think. Pretty sure that's it. All right, let's see what this module is all about. I hear it's squirrely. So let's, oh, already pressing the wrong buttons. There we go, ground crew. Let's do ground power. Chief, turn on the ground power. Then the little AP unit appears here, which is really cool. I love that. Now, I wonder, if I were to try to take off with, uh, without connected, will it, like, drag along with me the way it looks? Like, it looks like it's just floating with me? Or will it disconnect and then I, like, damage my aircraft? Hmm. Well, either way. This light's on, so let's hit the starter. And while that's doing its thing, turn on oxygen. Turn on... This guy to standby, this guy to standby. Check that this is at 10. It is, so let's go to go to ignite. We'll also set this guy to standby. This guy to transmit receive. Um, where is tagging? Here we go. Transmit receive. This is now at 20. Let's go into idle. No walkthrough, just do it. <laughs> he never spent more than 20 minutes in backs. Wow, really? Oh my goodness, wow. Nice to see people flying this more often. Beware of rolling the aircraft, by the way. Ah, yes. That is one thing I heard, is that the roll rate is incredibly fast. So I'm looking forward to that. We'll see how it goes. And because of that, I've actually specifically removed the extension on my left stick uh, for my thumbstick just to get like a true feel of what it's like trying to use this plane without any modifications. Um, let's see, so let's go ahead and turn on our lights to flash into collision, as well as taxi light. And turn on our instrument lights, console lights. Is there anything else we need? I don't think there is. Oh, what did I just do? What am I rotating? Oh, I'm selecting it. <laughs> selecting a attack end station. One nine. It's in six five four three two one. Let's just set it to one. Okay, cool. The left rudder, right rudder. That looks good. Uh, let's make sure left and right brake are working. So left brake. Right brake. Okay, that looks good. Forward, back, right, left. Okay, I think we're good to go. Yeah, that's 720. That's what I heard. That was like the specific roll rate for this particular aircraft. By the way, I'm noticing that the comments are slightly cut off. Is that the case? No, they're actually pretty good. Okay, not bad. I was worried that the, uh, the little view of the comments on the top right of the stream it was getting cut off, but yeah, it looks pretty good. It was getting cut off last time, so I wanted to fix that. Alright, so I'm going to set this guy to standby. i turn on the RWR, because I don't think it matters if I do it on the ground or not. Oh, uh, I don't have any weapons. I would like to try those out. See if I can uh, rearm refuel, or if I have to turn my engine off. Oh wow, my 50% fuel is probably half. Yeah. And let's see, what kind of weapons does this have? M9P5? Yeah, expected. Got the Shrike, which I think is the seed missile. Bombs, we have, uh, wow, 100 pound bomb, 250 pound bomb, 500 pound bomb. We got the classic bombs, Jesus. Um, let's see, AN M81 and M88. I am not sure what those are. Are those like... what are those? I don't know what those are. Are they just different variants of similar bombs? Got rock eyes, I know that. I don't know in Mark 77, but it looks like a bigger bomb. 
Mark 81 does not look like a bigger problem. In fact, it's 20, 250 pounds. And of course, standard Mark 82 is Mark 82. And then we have marker flares. Oh, cool. Also, we got what's under pods? Uh, the figures, smoke winders, rockets. We have Zunis. Um, we have FR, which are the OK rockets. Then we have Hydra unguided, which are just the para illumination. And then we have the seven count and then the 19 count variations. Okay, cool. That's not bad. And do the armaments change one step in? And those look the same. That looks the same. That looks longer. There is way more options. Got times two Mark 20s. Oh, cool. So we can have times five. Jesus. How big are those? Those are two 50 pound bombs. Okay, makes sense that we can have five. All right. Then we have the AN-M81s. Now we have times two Mark 82s. Pretty cool. That's yeah, pretty nifty. You know, people said that this thing is kind of a kind of a chunky beast when it's like overloaded, like it just is impossible to take off pretty much. So I kind of want to test that, see how far we get. But I'm gonna load this up. I'm gonna load this up with uh, an almost match a bombcat. Wow, crazy. Of course, without any sort of like CCIP guidance, right? I think it has CCRP, but I have no idea how it works. Like I. I heard you can use like the radar to lock onto like terrain or something, like point the gun sight somewhere, and then you have to use the computer to then release a CCRP drop on that particular spot, but it's not as accurate as, for example, like a Tomcat CCIP. Uh, let's see. Mark 84s! Mark 84s? Alright, okay. We're doing it. We are doing it. 84s, oh my god. What else? Like, times 3 Mark 83s? Times 6 Mark 82. Hold on. Uh, Mark 82s are 500. Times 6, which is what? 3,000? Versus times 3 Mark 83s, which are 1,000, which is 3,000 as well. So same, same destructive damage, but you get more counts of Mark 82s. So same, same pounds but spread across more units. And six, Jesus. Oh my God. That's crazy. Labs, what is labs? I don't know what that is. And brick, I'm not sure what brick is referring to. I need, <laughs> I need to look at the, at the knee pad. I heard the, or rather I, I was looking at the knee pad earlier today and it was, it would look great. It's a fantastic knee pad. Surprised more developers don't do it that way. Okay, I'm going to go times three Mark 83s, because that sounds super heavy. You know, we're not quite at our max takeoff weight, so this is almost looking okay. See, this is a thousand pounds, and this is also a thousand pounds, but this is two thousand pounds, so we're going to go for that. Now, the wingtips, bombs. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Uh, does this weigh, do fuel tanks weigh, uh, weigh more? We're currently at 24412. 24412. Let's go to fuel tanks and go to 300. 24, oh, wow, that weighs a lot more. Oh, my God. I mean, if I'm trying to test its takeoff ability, I could just do that. Fuel tanks. 300 gallons. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then we'll. Wow, this, this is a horrible idea. Don't ever do this. I mean, it should be, should go without saying, but, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what's the heaviest thing? So, this is 24899, 2516, 2511, so that's less. 516 is the one to beat. 2510. What's that? 24. Four, that's a smaller bomb. Two five one one three. Two five one one five. Okay, two five 
164. So the snake eye weighs more because it has that little kit on it. Um, brick is the performance when overloaded. Oh, got it. <laughs> because it flies like a brick. And labs means low altitude bombing system. Ooh. Basically select visually where you want to hit in the computer. Okay, that's pretty cool. I need to look into that. I didn't realize it. So it's basically CCRP. But I guess you have to designate using your pipper. And then you, I assume you pull up. <laughs> because if you continue down that path, it's not going to ever drop until you hit the ground. So you have to pull up slightly and just releases when it thinks it's correct for that particular uh, angle. Rockets. Do these weigh a lot? I feel like these don't weigh a lot. 25311? 25311? Hold on. Is that more? Oh, that is more! Okay, Zunis it is. Wow, Zunis are heavy, dude. Do these weigh more? 25311? Do the 19s weigh more? Let's go high explosive. 25. Nope, they don't weigh more. So let's go with the Zunis. Wow, those suckers are heavy, dude. Alright, let's go with Zunis. Alright, so I think. I mean, I think we can actually make this even heavier by changing this out for another fuel tank. Oh my god, 400 gallons. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to do that. Uh, do that. So 26008 becomes... Oh, wow, that actually weighs less. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll go with the boom booms. Uh, should be that. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to die after this. Oh, napalm? Really? Wait, is that... I don't recall Napalm being an armament in DCS. Was that actually always an armament in DCS? Like, or... I mean, I know, like, the Phoenix, for example, was created by Heatler, so they obviously added that in for their modules, so would that imply that the A4 devs included their own weapons as well? I don't know, that seems kind of strange. But I guess it's, it's feasible. Oh, I should probably turn off that, um... <laughs> that ground power unit. Uh, off. Machine, turn off the ground power. Copy. It's a thing for the mod and no. Oh, nice. Cool. That's actually pretty awesome. It's pretty neat that they have their own custom. Uh, oh, right. I have to wait for the rearm. That they have their own custom weapons as well. It's awesome. The. So the, the M9P5 I know exists for the F5 because I used it all the time when I was playing the F5. So unless it's a unique variant of it, then yeah, sure, I could see that. Uh, right modifier and left stick click. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, look at that center line, Jesus. I like how the hose took into account a weapon loadout on top of that. Like, see how it's bent out of the way just in case that there happens to be a, a weapon put out that would affect it? That's pretty cool. Oh my god, this plane. So there's one thing that I never knew, and that was how tiny... Oh, it does actually stick to the plane. I just saw it rock back and forth. The power unit rocked back and forth with the plane, so it looks like it is in fact statically attached to it. Um, but yeah. That's one thing I didn't realize about the A4 was just how tiny it is. And with all these weapons on it, it really just brings that into understanding. It's crazy. Oh, I noticed one issue with the animations. Even though the engine is running, you can't actually see it turning inside the plane. Aw, oh, that kind of sucks. That's, I mean, not the end of the world, unless those are actually fixed. Like, those are actually fixed, meant to prevent debris from hitting the engine. So then that would actually be pretty cool. I don't actually know. You know, that could actually be what that is. Just like guards to prevent debris from hitting it, like large chunks of things. <laughs> Anyways. Can it be coming down? And let's see how this goes. Oh boy. So, right modifier and D-pad left and right is for steering. Full bomb load is stupid crazy looking, by the way. <laughs> Plane is only three parts. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, all right. Wish me luck. 
I'm going to back taxi just a tiny bit to get the full length of the runway because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. Oh, actually, before I do that, I think the game sounds are a little low. Oh, no, they're not. What the heck? All right. Listen, Canopy really did a number on the engine sounds. Okay, so you guys can hear the engine sounds, but for some reason it's just so little sounds coming in. Oh, uh, 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 throttle down. Sorry, I, I can't word right now. Okay, left brake, and then right brake. <laughs> right brake. Brake to just... See, the problem with buttons as wheel brakes is they slowly push on the brake over time. So you have to hold down that particular button for like 0.25 seconds. And that's just enough to barely get it aligned. Okay, so we need to back taxi a little bit. Go to the left. Oh, yeah, we're going to use this whole runway. Uh, flaps 10 to 15. Is it... Oh, I didn't realize I can uh, set different degrees of flaps. I thought it was just all on or all off. You know, I might end up going into the grass. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. So I'm going to have to rebind that then, if that's the case. Perhaps set it so that... Oh no, I would actually... Okay, yeah. I was just thinking, like, maybe I should do, like, full flaps when pressed once and then... Or sorry, no. Controlled flaps when when lowering, but then pressing forward will just automatically raise the flaps, kind of like a speed brake. But that might not be the best idea, especially for taking off. And I'm pretty sure I can turn on the spot, right? Let's try that now before it's too late. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it should be far enough. Watch, I missed the other end of the runway by like a plane length because I didn't back taxi all the way. And let's see if we can go diagonally down the runway. And let's break. <laughs> this is looking worse and worse. Okay. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to call it here. We're going to miss by the runway by exactly this much. We are going to fail this because of this space here. Calling it now. All right. So let's look at that flaps up and down setting really quick. So I have a bound to... Oh, that is not it. Flaps down and flaps up, which is just full up and full down. So I, what I want it to is going to be up, else stop, I believe. And then up, down, else stop. That way I can control it. Hit OK. Now let's double check. Yep, there we go. That's how you do it. Um... Let's zoom in and double check. Flaps down. Okay, cool. How about? Okay, so this is some degree. This is some other degree. And then this is just full flaps. So I assume these notches mean 10. And then that doesn't seem right because I, w I would think this is like 45 degrees. Uh, 45 degrees no that's like not very not very steep at all that's probably like the 15 you're talking about I'm not sure how to get uh how these are labeled but 
Let's see what this shows on the outside. That's that's probably closer to like 45. And then all the way down would be for like a landing, I guess. Wow. Thing just spazzes out when it's at the very end, huh? Um. Oh, you could double click this. What the heck? If I double. Hold on. If I look at this flap switch. I double click it. Oh, that didn't work. If I press it. That's. Yeah, it's going all the way up. But if I want to do a temporary, then I just press and hold until I'm happy. But if I just tap it, oh, there it is. It's not a double click, it's a tap. So if I just tap it, it goes all the way down. Or if I tap it up, it goes all the way up. But if I want a specific number, I hold it until I reach the thing I want. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to assume I want it like halfway between here. Like somewhere right here. This should be pretty good, I think. I guess we'll find out. Or alternatively, I could just leave the flaps all the way up so that I have no drag going down the runway. And then at the last minute, just drop them full. You know what? We're going to go with that. That sounds like a good idea because that's what I do in the Harrier. Alright, so brakes on. Throttle up. All the way. And release. Use wheel brakes to stay center line. And at some point, I'll switch. Uh-oh. Too late for that, so should I be... Nose pitch up. I imagine nose pitch up. Okay, getting more speed, getting more speed, getting more speed. We're at takeoff speed, I believe. So let's go flaps down. Ooh, we're taking off. Oh man, that worked. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That actually wasn't horrible. Uh, 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 uh. Trying to trim, trying to trim. Oh, you know what? AFC? Or, sorry, uh, FCS, whatever it's called. And slowly bring those flaps up. Alright, we're flying. Not bad. Like, we are severely overweight. That wasn't too bad. Like, I'm pretty sure I got, got up to speed fairly quickly. I could have taken off earlier. I just want to give myself extra time. Not bad at all. Oh, that's right. This thing doesn't have the afterburner. Huh. I forgot that was a thing. I can't believe these things competed with the likes of, like, the Tomcat. For example, in, in uh, Top Gun. Even without an afterburner. That's crazy. Unless they were so light that they were able to do that. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Alright, cool. So, uh, we're able to get this thing flying. Let's see how it handles in the air, now that we're here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, even fully loaded, that roll rate is, uh, pretty significant, actually. We're not quite at max speed, so we don't have like full deflection on the on the ailerons or anything, or full capacity on the ailerons. So I'm curious. Oh, that's you know what? I wonder. So I have the autopilot on. I wonder if it behaves like the Harrier. So if I take okay, so I'm going to trim like crazy. I'm going to trim right roll and pitch down. Then I'm going to try and hold a steady position, then activate the autopilot. Autopilot activate. And then let it stabilize on its own. So I had a whack out trim just before autopilot. Now let's disengage the autopilot. No way! Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, so autopilot trims. Yo, what's up, Safmo? What an interesting stream. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. That is awesome. Cool. So it has an auto trim feature. Not bad, not bad. There is similar gauge as flaps for pitch up and down on the right side, I believe. The kneeboard should have, should now have the takeoff settings in it. Okay, cool. Good to know. But you said on the right side, so I imagine it's one of these. Oh yeah, there it is. Nose and note. What? No, 
Um, so the the left one makes sense because nose up and down, but nose left and right. So I guess that's rudder. Oh, that would make sense. That's rudder. Okay, cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I have a feeling that the autopilot is going to be my best friend in this plane. I'm going to be using that constantly, especially for trim. Though I am noticing a bit of oscillation in it. Would Josh do video for a default P51 Mustang? You know, I've been considering that can, because uh, the TF51 is free with DCS. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it for some reason, but I actually enjoy flying it a lot. Especially in um, Persian Gulf at War, since it can do uh, CTLD ops. On the bright side, my, my album with all my layouts already has the TF-51 and P-51 uh, layouts for it. So if you can't wait for a video, just go to the, the albums I have set up and look for it and bind it based off that. Is there a G-meter on this aircraft? I know there's an AOA that's here on the left, and then there's a climb, uh, direction, liquid oxygen? Huh, I wonder why you would want to see that at all times. Then we have a clock, I believe, right here, which is also up here, so there's like two clocks. Then we have a magnetic heading indication, altitude, speed, um, fuel rate, I believe? Yeah, fuel rate, I think. RPMs in percentage. In fact, let's drop that to like 90. Oh, here's fuel flow. What is that? PR? What does PR stand for? I don't know what that stands for. If we can zoom in on that, what does that mean? PR. It has three digits down at the bottom and it has 1.5, 1.2, 3.4 I'm not sure what that means. Pressure? Look behind the stick, those are the most those are most weapon controls. Okay. Oh, uh, let's do that again. There we go. Oh yeah, all these guys. This kind of reminds me of the F5 in a way. Just because of the way you select the different weapons by doing these. So here's Master Arm, which I bound there. And then Guns Ready is there. Then we can jettison. Wait, can we jettison? Yeah, there we go. We can jettison. We can select the Master Mode. Or rather, um, Weapon Configuration, or whatever you want to call it. So let's jettison everything. Oh, actually, not everything. Uh, jettison the fuel tanks. How would I do that? What, what stations are they on again? They're on... Oh boy, I wish it was easier to tell. So not the outside ones, but the inside ones. Well, that's going to be... Let's see, this guy and this guy. So let's do that and that. Okay. Oh no, I got rid of... Ah, dang it, those are the outermost. There goes the rockets. <laughs> okay, let's go step in from there. Jettison, jettison. Okay, the fuel tanks are gone. And we still have bombs, at least, so we can play around with those really quick. <clears throat> Let's see, what else do we have? We can set this to... So this looks like an ECM, which I guess is built into the A4. It's like not a separate pod. Is that right? I feel like it should be a separate pod, unless it had the room for it. RW RWR and A4 is simple and cool. Enjoying anti-radiation missiles is fun, too. All right, I'll have to check those out. If it's anything like the Harrier, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure, uh, I'll enjoy wild weaseling and firing. All the pilot is nice, but hilarious shenanigans happen when you get F-18 pilots to try and fly information without the autopilot. <laughs> so let's see, does this work? Yep, that's working. Let's see, see if countermeasures work. Yep, countermeasures work. We still have three bombs on the center line. I like that there's a, a countdown of how many countermeasures I have left. 
<coughs> so this ECM, it's on REC, which I imagine will only trigger if I'm being locked, so the ECM will turn on once I'm getting tracked. Uh, but I don't know what these other settings do. Like the APR27, I imagine is referring to a type of ECM. Same with 25. Then I could set the audio to be coming from the APR25 or the ALQ. So it's one or the other. And then I can switch the APR25 on, as well as the APR27. So I guess two different bands, if I had to guess. Then looks like that's the missile alert PRF. Is that like volume? Whoa! That is volume. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that slightly on. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that off. Let's leave that off for now. Hey, Loud Kiwi. Doing good. How about you? Welcome to the stream. I'm just checking out the new A4. Well, not that new. It's been around for a while, but version 2.0 of the A4 mod is available. It's a free. I mean, effectively full fidelity module at this point. Like, it's got all the bells and whistles. Just that it's free, you don't have to pay for it. <coughs> of course, the downside is not every server is going to have it in their missions, but eh, it is what it is. Also saw labs briefly on mode selector. Ripple and quantity is controlled by the station selectors. Uh, is controlled below the station selectors, not the most read up on the ECM. Okay, oh, not the most read up on the ECM, got it. All good. Let's take a look really quick. We've got bombs on us still, so... Might as well take a look at this. Uh, we're holding. So the problem is that whenever I zoom in and out, it's also my rudder control. So when I let go of the modifier, it just stays zoomed in. It's like max rudder. So it shakes around a little bit. All right, so let's switch to bombs. We'll switch guns to off. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and set nose and tail arm. If we have high drag bombs, tail is what activates the fins, right? But if you want the bomb to go off, I would imagine you also want the nose arm. Unless it still goes off with the tail. Now yeah, let's go nose tail. Like maybe this is delay fuse, effectively. Okay, so this doesn't appear to be on. Power on. Power on. Because master switch? No, master switch is on. What is this? Why is that off? Oh, here we go. Set. So step or ripple. Let's go with... Eh, let's go with ripple. Single. Uh, Multi-switch. I don't know what that means. I'll set it to times one because I only want to drop one bomb at a time. With a drop interval of, let's say... Eh, let's do max 200. Ah, there we go. That's why. Okay, and... AWRS the quantity I want to drop. And I have three bombs on my belly, so I'm going to set it to three. Is salvo what I want? I can't remember. Single, salvo. Okay, so drop quantity is three with a distance with a spread distance of 200, which I, I assume is either feet or milliseconds, but I imagine it's milliseconds. Um, I don't know what that means. And I assume this will let me do one bomb weight 200, one bomb, weight 200, one bomb. As opposed to salvo, which I thought was another way of saying exactly that, but yeah, what do I know? All right, let's see how this goes. So, let's see what we want to bomb. <laughs> well, might as well. All right, cool. We got a nice juicy airfield right in front of us. I don't believe it's the one we took off from. And all we're going to do is fly directly over it and just drop the bombs at a safe height. Like a thousand feet? Wait, wait hold on, they're Mark, they're Mark 83's. A thousand pound bombs? A thousand feet? That's pretty safe, right? We'll find out. We're at 3,000, at 2,000, we'll stay at this height actually, 
and then still wow that roll rate okay and line a little better and release it doesn't feel like anything dropped I don't think anything dropped <laughs> nope nothing dropped okay hold on I'm missing something I am missing something let's see oh I have to select the station there we go that's what it was okay cool okay we're good to go let's do that again I don't know why, but the A4 reminded me of a, of a trainer. No, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't have an afterburner. Um, it's fairly simple system-wise. So it definitely has vague uh, resemblances to like the C101 or the L39 or the T1A if you happen to be around when that was actually flyable. I actually kind of miss my T1A. That was the first plane I ever got, and it was the first plane I got an air-to-air -air kill in. Alright, let's go max throttle. And go around for another pass. That is center one, right? Okay, yeah. Oh, now uh, let's go and turn off those lights. Because we need a proper fence in for this. And here's the runway. Be good enough now. Supposedly has a 4 to 1 kill ratio against Tomcat. Wow, that's crazy. That has to be a modified version. There's like, I can't imagine this thing without an afterburner. Like keeping up with a Tomcat of all things. You know? There has to be modifications done to him. Especially like F-14Bs. I mean, I can't imagine uh, not still doing Top Gun training sessions when the B's were around, or even the A pluses, since those are effectively B's. All right, here we go. Oh man, that roll rate. Especially now that we have a bunch of speed. We're a little off center, so let's use rudder. A little bit of roll right, and... Weapon race, oh yeah. That sounded good. Oh, a little bit off-center, but that's okay. And it looks like all three went off. Cool. So, missed target, but that's okay. They weren't drag bombs anyways. Not bad. Oh, that was where we took off from. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, in fact, you can see the other planes that were parked right next to us right here. On this parking uh, parking area. Hey guys. <laughs> okay, all right. So, yeah. So that roll rate is is in fact pretty crazy. Um. Oh wow, that thing is shaking a lot. Jesus. We're at 250 knots. I mean, it is fast, but it's it's manageable. Like, I'm, I'm on a, you know, Xbox 360 thumbstick, of all things. And while it is fast, I mean, you just have to get used to it. And obviously, you'll have to coordinate with a little bit of, like, right rudder. You want to make sure you don't climb the nose as you turn. Do another right turn. Left turn. Right turn. Notice how my nose is climbing in the air as I roll. I can attempt to prevent that with more right rudder, but I think I'm turning too fast to actually do anything about it. So let's go full left rudder. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a way I can uh, really combat that. I just have to do a slower roll. Okay. All right. Let's go for another test, shall we? Let's do some air-to-air -air refueling, because that'll be... Uh, Pretty good test. Actually, I wonder what the off-roading capabilities of this is like. Yeah, we'll do it later. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and go to exits and go to close. 
instant action. And air refueling. All right. This one I do know how to do. Uh, one, two, three. Let's go max throttle. Okay, so let's. What do we have? So we have two tanks. I imagine they're empty. Oh, in fact, we can check that by this button here. Yep, they are empty. Uh, let's go ahead and pitch down to below the tanker. Oh, in fact, let's call it so that's ready to go. Texaco, 1-1, one, one. in field, 1-1, one, one. request rejoin. There we go. Okay, and I need to pressure it. Oh, I can barely see this. It's one of those two. There it is. So, drop tank. I need it to be in this position. Okay. And with these tanks, I imagine I'm super draggy, so I should be able to stop on the spot. Stripped down and made as light as possible. Never could keep up with the Tomcats. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, and let's throttle down before it's too late. And he breaks out. Damn, this thing can stop. Look at that. Not bad at all. Oh man, this autopilot is so nice. Ugh. That judder, I think, is the slats. I don't know, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get into position. Autopilot for reference. Two clicks up. Let's see if that maintains position. Two more clicks. There we go. That's what we want. So let's go ahead and ready, ready for contact. Three clicks up, three clicks down. Well, that's three clicks up, and we are maintaining position, and also now slowly accelerating. <coughs> three clicks down, and two clicks up to maintain. And when I say clicks, I mean throttle. And how many times I press it. This is a slow approach. Looking good. Wait, I don't know where the probe is. Is it like on the right side? Contact. There it is. Okay, cool. Break away, break away, break and away. one click down. Oh, 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 too far to the right. You're taking fuel. Thank you. One click up. Two clicks up. Three clicks down. One click up. Oh, too far, too far, too far. Eat up. Three clicks down to slow break back away, down. Break away, break away. Oh, slow back down. Oh, that went through my canopy. That's not good. Six clicks up. Oh, the slats. I need to be careful when I hear those because the instantaneous drag really slows me down. Then when they retract, the, the instantaneous slickness really speeds me back up. Yeah, that roll rate is crazy. I mean, it's manageable, like I said, but it is, it's pretty significant. Ooh, come on. Break away, break there away, we go. break Good. away. Contact. You're taking fuel. Break away, 
Break away. Break away. Break too away. fast, too fast, too fast. Too fast. Oh no, come on. Break away, break away, break away. Contact. You're taking fuel. Pretty good. A little close, but that's all right. Too close, too close, too close. Too close. Too close. Oh man, those slats really get you super draggy. That is crazy. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Two clicks up. Two clicks down. Break away. Break away. Break away. Three clicks down. Contact. Three clicks up. You're taking fuel. Two clicks up. Four clicks up. Five break clicks away. down. Break away. Break away. All the way down. Oh my god, I can't believe how much the acceleration and deceleration changes. That is crazy. The acceleration difference, or the, the acceleration deceleration is just massive in this plan. That is crazy. And I think it's all because of the slats. Oh my god. Come on, slats retract. Slats retract. You can do it. There we go. Break away, break away, break away. Contact. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Break away, break away, break away. Every time you see the canopy shake like that, that's the slacks retracting. Or either retracting or extending, one of the two. So that's eight clicks up from, from idle. That should get me back into a good speed. Yeah, so I'm slowly catching up with the tinker now. I think. Yeah, slowly. At just shy of 90% RPM. See down here. I think this is the speed I want. Then I'll tap down, so click down. Yeah, no kidding, dude. 
the aerodynamics change so much just because of those slats. And the speed of the tanker is in just the right in just the right place to cause them to happen. To to extend. Sorry, I can't think right now because I'm focusing so hard. But they're in just the right Oh my god. The tanker is flying just slow enough that if you are like three knots slower than the tanker, the, <laughs> the slats deploy. Oh, don't get that close, please. That's going to be funny is if I check my tanks and find out I haven't been fueling up this whole time. I've been doing this for a while. Let me check. Let me check. Oh boy. Go hit that. They are not filling up. What the heck? Okay, so I kind of thought that was happening. So let's go back up to 85 RPMs or so. Engage autopilot and see what the heck is going on. This guy need what? Does it need to be in pressurize? Uh, fuel indicators on right. Yep, yep. So if I press this button, that fuel indicator shows me what's in the tanks, like the external tanks, and they are still empty. I thought what I had to do was push this into the off position and then it would work. But apparently, it's not actually doing anything. Also, I'm surprised this thing hasn't said ready for contact yet. Oh, 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 oh. Turbulence. Oh. Too high, too high. Slats, come on. There we go. Slats are retracted. So let's make sure we don't go too fast. Autopilot is engaged for altitude hold. Let's readjust ourselves. Okay, it looks like we're matching the speed of the tanker, so we'll turn autopilot off. Our trim is now set for the tanker speed, more or less. Now the question is, will our tanks actually fill up this time? Click down, so we're at 88% or 85%. Another click down, so we can slow down further. Break away, break away, break away. And connected. Another click down, Contact. slow down before we hit the plane. And click up to match speed. Click up to match speed. Click up to match speed. Click down to slow down just a tiny bit. And click up twice to get speed back up. And click down twice to slow back down. Three more times down. Two more times up. One more time up. One more time up. One more time down, and down, 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 up, 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 <laughs> God, please, please, down, 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 up, up, up. 
up, up, and down, down. Looking pretty good. Now, up, up, and while it's speeding up, let's check our fuel. It is still not pr it is still not filling up for some reason. I don't know why. If I remember right. By default, it's left alt in D. But that's a temporary position. So let's throttle down to about, or keep our RPMs to about 85 or so, so we can just maintain this position away from the tanker. And while we do that, throttle up again, there we go, 85. Let's review this kneeboard. Uh, let's see. I think I skipped it. So. There it is. Okay. So it needs me to do drop tank pressurization by setting the flight refuel with left control and D. And I need to hold it. What does that do? I could have sworn that that's what it was. Okay. Ah, it's, so it's the down position, not up. Which makes sense because the up position is off. So let's go ahead and do down. Okay, now this should work. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Okay. Let's catch up to the tanker. We're currently gaining on it. So I'm just going to let the autopilot hold this current altitude and just work our way there. With minor corrections. Then let's throttle down to about 85% RPMs as we approach. Okay, so this is probably going to be better now. So we're currently at zero pounds of fuel in our tanks. And they should start filling up now. a bit. Oh no. Slats, come on. Work with me. Break away, break away, break away. Go. Slats, please don't Contact. don't extend. You're taking fuel. Don't extend slats. Break away, break away, break away. Slats. Yes, we're getting fuel. We're getting fuel. Uh oh, I think I accidentally extended my speed brake. No, come on, come on. Break away, break away, break away. Contact. Oh my god, please. Contact. Oh my god, please. The slats, the slats. No, come on. 
We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. The goal eventually is going to be to do this without any disconnecting and reconnecting. But for now, oh my god, those slats are the bane of my existence. On the bright side, we're almost filled. But it shouldn't be much longer. And I think because we're getting more and more fuel, that means we're getting heavier and heavier, break away, break away, which in turn means we need more AOA. Oh, what? Contact. Transfer complete. Hey, we topped off. Disconnect. Oh, thank God. Okay. So that worked. It took forever because we had to switch in the wrong position. But what's important is we pulled it off. So the roll rate actually isn't that bad. Even while air-to-air -air refueling, it's really not that bad. The, the real problem is those freaking leading edge slats. Because those, these guys that are currently extended, oh man, they really, really affect the drag of the aircraft. Like, those things are a nightmare. So it's really more of an issue with throttle control than it is with uh, roll. Oh boy. That was rough. Okay, well anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and move on and see what dogfighting is like. Hit quit. Put it close. Hopefully this thing is set up so it just dogfights right away. Let's go to um, trained veteran. Oh, I see. So I could fight another A4 or a F14 or a MiG-15. Oh. Let's go with let's go with a F14A veteran. I have no experience using the guns on this, and I assume... Yeah, it's a guns-only dogfight. It's currently uh, active pause, so we're going to have to use the keyboard for this. Um, let's get rid of this flight stick. Let's make sure our master arm is on, guns are ready. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Alright, and throttle up to, I guess, max, because... I don't think I care that much. And was it left window? Or no, left windows, left shift, and pause break. Yeah, there we go. Let's see how this goes. And test fire. Yep, guns are working. Um. I don't know where the Tomcat is. I assume it's going to be off my front. There's nothing here that will indicate where it is. Is it like birdie flying around me? No, it isn't. Did I miss something in that message? Like, I just hit spacebar to continue. Like, well, am I supposed to do something? Two shots carefully, not a lot of ammo. Okay, good to know. Thank you. There doesn't seem to be radio menu options. It's not like flying around me right now, is it? Okay, uh, I'm going to restart this mission and, like, care. Actually, you know what? Carefully read the briefing. There is nothing in the briefing. Defeat your bandits. Guns only. C two to three in the kneeboard. Okay. C two to three in the kneeboard. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> Chapter two, page three, or something like that. Yeah, I see. Basically, how to use the weapons, I, I guess. Okay, so I don't know where this guy is. In most cases, we just fly straight until we see the bandit appear, right? It's 
It's also possible this mission is bugged. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and exit, close, mission editor open. We're going to go to that particular mission. Here. Mods, aircraft, A4. Missions, English, quick, is it quick start? Yeah, quick start. Dog fight against F-14A veteran. Take a look. Oh yeah, we ran into it right away. Um, the triggers. Active pause. Group alive, player group. Message all, so this is what causes us to active pause. I have activated active pause to let you arm your guns before the fight. Press space once you're ready. Oh, I didn't hit. <laughs> I didn't hit space when I was ready. That's what the issue was. Okay. No, I just unpaused it, so I'm supposed to hit space. Uh, let's go F14A. All right. So, the more you know, kids, you need to. Uh, oh. So the Russian name I don't recognize. I'm pretty sure that was an attempt at posting a link. So apologies if you are not a bot, but I'm going to take the safe, the safest bet, and assume you are, and remove. All right, so let's throttle up to max. Engage autopilot so that it trims out right away. I'll remove that. Master arm on and guns on and hit space to ready up. There it is. And there he goes. All right, so he just begins flying like right away. I'm do Oh, I'm a little bit too nose up. Well, let's start diving down. Oh boy, that's not looking good. I'll turn in this way. There he is. Turn away from him. Make sure he doesn't get guns on. We'll continue on in this direction. Oh, geez, this is actually kind of tough. I'm not used to flying this thing at all. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That is not what I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure we would have hit a hard deck by now. But that's okay. But so is he. I'll use this opportunity. Oh, wow, okay. Come on. This thing is, like, actually pretty hard to handle. But I can't pull too many airways, otherwise... I'm gonna bleed all of my speed, and there's, it's so difficult to get it back. Don't fight in the vertical. One or two circle fights are winnable. It takes time. Yep, got it. And I cannot yank the stick back like I was earlier. Oh boy, that's okay. We'll just keep on keeping on. My AOA. Oh, that is massive. Okay. Let's reduce that AOA. Okay, so that's where I want to be. Okay, looks like he tried to go into a high yo-yo or something and it worked against him because we're pretty low altitude now. Let's turn back in. Yeah, I think the problem is I'm not used to pulling this little bit of the stick back. And I'm just bleeding off all my energy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There he is, he's coming back around. Let's go meet him. And a head on. Oh. Honestly, I think I could just make him run out of fuel at this rate. <laughs> It's 
okay. We'll just keep on keeping on. Problem is we're pulling way too many AOAs, so we need to relax that a bit. I can't believe I lost him that, that easily. Okay. He's going slightly vertical. Okay. What happens if I reverse? If I reverse, I die, right? Oh, he reversed. Does that mean he dies? Actually, let's get some speed back. Uh oh, lost him. I'm sure he's somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Wow, this is taking so long, Jesus. Let's get some of that speed back. Relax on the stick a bit. Keep an eye on the ocean. Make sure we don't die. Good. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's not looking good. It's okay. Alright, time for a reverse. Okay, yeah, not used to this plane at all. Let's uh let's not kill ourselves. It's coming up from above. Coming down from above. And let's turn on these mirrors, because I feel like these are actually gonna be useful. Um I don't know where he is. He out in front of us? Oh, he is right on our tail. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's okay, okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I had deployed the flaps there at the at the last second. Oh, speaking of which, he is super slow, ain't he? Oh, but he has an afterburner. That's okay, we got a little bit of flap going. I believe. Yep, just a tiny bit. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I was so focused on my flap setting. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. That was fun. Alright, let's do quit. Do fly again. We got this, we got this. All right. I'm a little more used to it. I was literally my first dog fight. Let's do that. Throttle up all the way. Master arm on, guns on, autopilot on, and space bar. There he is. And let's go ahead and turn. Right around there is where I want to be, I think. Too much stick. Okay, let's keep our energy going. He's going slightly vertical. Let's go back into horizontal. And keep it coming. Pulling on the stick way too hard. I need to get used to that. He's up there. Okay, got it. Take advantage of the rudder to roll in over him. We do that. 
if I can stop pulling my aircraft too hard. Might have to pull it hard at this point. Okay. There he goes. God, I could hear that afterburner. Problem is, when I did that, I lost all of my energy, so I couldn't do anything with it. Okay, he's going left. Oh boy. But he's also coming right. Okay. That's okay. Let's come up over him. And then reverse. Oh, please. Anytime I do like a little maneuver to uh, take advantage of something, I'm just out of energy. That is crazy. Wait, and the AI lose me? Is it possible for the AI to lose uh, visual of me? Because it honestly looked like he lost me. Like he's right here. What is going on? Feeling bad for me, so he's giving me a chance? Oh yeah, he knows I'm here now. Reactivate those burners. Relax on the stick. Relax on the stick, relax on the stick. Get some energy back, we're at... 300 knots, which isn't too bad. But he is coming up on our six, which is not good. So let's spend a little bit of the energy. And then come up. Oh, this is a horrible idea. Don't don't come up. Jink it. Oh boy, oh boy. That's okay. Come up right or left. Uh, 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 oh, 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 that's not good. <laughs> this plane is definitely not forgiven, that is for sure. I'm going to extend, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to extend out, get some, as much energy back as I can, which is about 400 knots. And I'll turn back around. Then have a jousting match. Here we go. And relax on the stick. Then back out. Let him turn him back around while we gain a little bit of energy, but ideally not in a climb. And let's turn back around while in a dive. Try this again. Then he's coming around this way. Yep, there he is. And he's going to come to the right. Ooh, jeez. Coming to the left. There he is. Oh, no, I have no energy to do anything with, though. God damn it. That is crazy. This is difficult, man. Should I be deploying flaps, or is it doing that for me? I feel like it's doing it for me. At least the slats are. Like 
that. Jeez. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, thank you for the warning. But no auto flaps? Okay, good to know. Ugh. Imagine if I hit that, that would be kind of a cheesy win. Okay, so good to know. So I'm gonna maybe push the flaps down a little bit. Not gonna do great for my uh, energy state, but Hopefully, I'll make my maneuver maneuverability just a little bit. Oh my god! What the heck? Did I cause... I mean... There you go. Now that's the spirit well done. Thank you, but um... Did I hit him earlier and he just overstressed his aircraft? I mean, that, that's pretty awesome if that's what actually happened. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at the after action report. What what happened there? Did I hit him? Uh let's see. Oh I did hit him! During that little pass, I hit him once. And then he overstressed his aircraft after getting damaged, so he just fell apart. Wow, crazy. Okay, uh so I'm going to try that one more time. So throttle up. Uh get rid of the stick. Master arm on, guns on, autopilot on, so it gets me in a good trim. And flaps lower just a little bit, like right around there. This should do. Alright, spacebar. Okay, let's go ahead and turn in. See if we can get this first turn off. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh god, <laughs> I could have taken it, but uh, I don't know, it didn't seem right. Let's relax on the stick a bit. Then we'll let him try to slot in on the right side. And then rudder right. And then left. And there he is. Let's see if we can do something with this. I don't know if I hit him, but we're in a pretty good position now, hopefully. We could do something with it, doesn't look like we can. Oh my god. Yeah, we didn't have enough energy to go in behind him. Oh my god, and he's just flying right in behind us. Oh man. I mean, should I be pulling harder? Like, I'm feeling the cockpit shake. And if it's shaking, that means our AOA is pretty high. So I guess the idea is to force him into overshoot. I mean, if he's able to outrate us, which I assume is in fact the case, and we can force him to overshoot. Get, just stay away from his nose, and then turn back over. Oh, that is not the command I wanted. Oh boy. That's okay. Let's get some energy back. Okay, cool. 
We're gonna extend a little bit. Get some energy back, let him do the turn. And in behind, let's go ahead and turn kinda hard now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't think it liked that. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck is going on? Did I hit him earlier as well? Jeez. Overshoot or offset two circle? Okay. So I might have to ask you to explain the offset two circle because I know what a two circle is. I don't know what offset means. Like, does that mean let him go vertical and I stay horizontal kind of thing? Okay, what the heck happened there? I want to do that again. Oh, I did. Wait. Yeah, I did hit him once. Wow, that's... Mm, okay. So just a single hit, then he kills himself. One more time. Guns on, master arm on, throttle up, autopilot, and spacebar. Flaps down. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go in the vertical. Because why not? Let's see what happens. This complete vertical. Let's do this. This is a stupid idea. But why not? Oh, look at that. And let's go around this way. There he is. We'll let him fall in behind us. Come on, you can do it. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn off in this direction. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh! He pecked us. That's okay. Oh my god. I'm surprised he's not trying to just Oh this isn't good. Oh that was that was really close. Oh my god. I'm surprised he's sticking with it. Oh he got me. He sniped me! Oh my goodness! Well, offset is where you purposely off where you are purposely offsetting your circle several degrees off from him in order to create almost intersections. Think of it like a Venn diagram when where the two circles Oh I see what you're saying. Okay. So uh, so the initial vertical, because I had a bunch of speed, wasn't too bad. I mean, it still seems like... So, okay, I have, an, I have a better idea. Let's try this again, but we'll go with my old strategy. Not the original one, but my old, old strategy before today. Uh, master arm on, gun on. Let's go with flaps up for now. To get as much speed as possible. And then spacebar. Okay, there we go. What should do.
That wasn't as vertical as I was hoping to make it, but that's okay. I think we've saved a little bit of our energy as a result, and I don't know what the heck he's doing. What is going on? Like, I mean, I'm not going to complain, I guess, but why am I allowed to slot in behind him? Also, I don't know where he is. This canopy is, like, not doing me any favors. There we go. Okay, this is a very different strategy from before. What is he doing? Also, I don't know what the lead is like on my shots. I may have played into his hands. Okay, let's get some speed back. Actually, don't know where he went. That is not good. Oh, there he is right in front of me. Okay. And I lost him again. What the heck? Got some speed back. There he is. This way. And we'll meet him up here. Yep, face to face. Ooh. Yep, that's when the roll rate is not something I'm used to yet. That's okay. Flaps back up. Looks like he wants to go in this direction. So we'll follow him out this way. I wonder, do you guys find yourselves having to uh, manipulate the flaps a lot during these kinds of dogfights? Where did he go? I looked away for just a second. Oh, he's straight out ahead. What the heck? What's he doing? I don't know. This AI is behaving kind of strange. It's like he saw me extending out like I did before. He's like, you know what? I could try that too. God, he's fast. Let's uh, not die. Thank you. The 
if I could hit him from here. I'm like, right. Oh, that's way too far away. Imagine. <laughs> I mean, this is the strategy I would think Tomcats would want to use. Use their superior speed to get out of the way. Did he just eject? Oh my god. I think he ran out of fuel. I mean, I guess that's another way to win the fight. Alright, I guess that's the downside of doing that. I wonder if I ever hit him. I did not. Alright, well. Yes, with... Yes and no with flaps. I tend to fly it very similar to the MiG-21, but without the engine issues and with better maneuverability. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Lots of flaps are used along with some air brake. Oh, really? You even use air brake? Huh. Is that for forcing the overshoots? Like, are you, aren't you worried that you'll be out of energy by the time... Yeah, I noticed that, that the spool time is, like, crazy slow. Okay, so full throttle, use air brakes to throttle uh, to slow down. And force the overshoot. That way, the engine is still at max RPMs to catch back up with speed. Okay, got it. That makes sense. One last time, because I've been streaming for close to two hours, and I think I'm pretty much done. <laughs> there, there, there. And then autopilot and altitude hold. Space part. And autopilot off. Oof. And flaps. I am putting a lot of G's into this one. And flaps back up. Yeah, no kidding. This is a difficult dance. Interesting that he's going for that same boom and zoom kind of strategy. However, I could hit him. Oh, that could have done it, maybe. So, at this rate, he's going to run out of fuel as long as I keep him off of me. Oh, and I don't like that, so I'm going to let him do that. And then go this way. He's going under, using rudder, I mean he's in my gun sight, he's just so far away I can't do anything about it. A lot of bit lag until I can see him. Okay. Flaps. More flaps. Less flaps. Lax on the stick. Do you have to worry about any engine issues by staying at full throttle all the time? Like, for example, do you have to worry about it, I don't know, overheating or something? Because he said that it's not as bad as the MiG-21. And I know they suffer from flameouts, right? Okay, here we go. This is my opportunity. Let's see if we can cut in. I'm going to go like this. Oh my god, those wings are so far back. Dude, there is no way I can catch up to him to, to go in on a 6. I have to hit him in the joust. Like, that's the only way I can get these shots off. Unless... Hmm. 
go. He's going up. I'm going to try and keep my, my energy state relatively high while I pass under him. Not really, you don't have to worry about with the engine. Okay, good, sweet. Alright. Well, I'm going to try to head him off over here. I can't turn in front of him. Uh, I need to be careful not to turn in front of him. Okay. And as I say that, I'm probably going to do it right now. There he goes. That's not quite what I was looking for. I was hoping he would dive in a little more on me. Yeah, to be honest, like at this rate, he's just going to run out of fuel, which I guess is a form of winning. It's kind of lame, though. And here's the joust. And there goes the joust. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not, like, trying to turn with me. I mean, maybe that's the optimal strategy? It seems kind of weird. Alright, he's coming back in. Let's turn. Well, let's wait to see what he does. What is he doing? It's like he's not even trying to turn towards me. Load nine rock pods and <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. Imagine if I actually scored a hit like that. That would be crazy. I mean, to be fair, at this point, I would have been able to shoot a aim nine off at him. Like, if this was not a guns only dog uh, dogfight, I would have won. Now, question is, does the AI know that? Like, do they care if it's guns only and they don't have aim nines? Would they do the same strategy no matter what? I don't know. But clearly, I could kill him like this. What is he doing? Like, does he not know where I am anymore? Oh, he's not even... Oh, did he eject? I think he ejected. I don't see parachutes, but it looks like he ejected. Oh, he did not eject. Oh, I think he lost me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You think that's what's happening? Is they actually lose sight of me, so they just go on a hunt trying to find me again? Oh no, clouds. Oh no, the one time I, I didn't want to see pretty clouds. There he is. So I'm inside his turn circle, clearly. Not that it's helping me much. Oh, and there they go. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I think what's happening is they actually lose sight of me. So they go on a hunt to try to find me again. And by the time they find me, they're like, okay, it's time for we begin, and they go full burner. Ah, that's, that's a little bit of a letdown. Let's see if I can modify that mission a little bit so that he's an ace instead. Maybe that'll make it a little more consistent. And then it'll be my last time. I swear. Um, English. Quick start. F-14A veteran. And we're going to change this to ace. And see if this behaves any differently. Okay. There, don't bother saving. Start. Let's see how this goes. Same thing as before. Zoom out, throttle up. 
off, master arm on, guns on. And we're currently at 350 knots. We could go all the way up to 400, so let's not extend the flaps yet. And extend flaps. Get this turn in. Retract flaps while we get energy back. Hmm. This is an ace, right? Doesn't seem right. Okay, maybe it does seem right. He's turned in on me. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's see if we can... Okay. We are extremely slow. Get some money for that energy back while we pass. Okay. Lower the flaps a little bit. And the joust. And there he goes. So we got the hit off. Ah, I don't know. I don't like landing shots during the joust because I feel like he had just the same opportunity to shoot me as well and he just doesn't because it's AI. I don't know. That seems kind of lame. But anyways, that's going to be it for me today because that's been a long enough stream. It's been two hours and eight minutes. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this content, feel free to give me a like, give me a follow, and whatever the heck is for YouTube streaming these days. Pretty sure you can't give a dislike, or if you can, I can't see it. So, you know, feel free to do that if you want. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks for all the info, quest of knowledge. You really, <laughs> you really lived up to your name for this A4 mod. And yeah, guys, tune in next time, and maybe by then I'll have an actual layout that you guys can follow. Uh, but till then, have a nice day. Look at these guys. But a bunch of losers. Losers in their parachutes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anyways, take care, guys. Have a good one.